I am Dr. Arshad Hakim, Senior Consultant, Head and Oncology, Apollo Cancer Institute, Hyderabad. Cancer is an abnormal growth of cells. If this abnormal growth of cells occurs in the patient's esophagus, that is from the pharynx up to the upper end of the stomach, it is known as esophageal cancer. Today, we are going to ask, answer some questions which are frequently asked about the esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer, simply cancer is an abnormal growth of cells. If this abnormal growth of cells occurs in esophagus, that is from your pharynx up to the upper end of the stomach, it is known as esophageal cancer. What is esophageal cancer? Uh, esophageal cancer is an abnormal growth of cells in an esophagus that is because of the cell there is mutation and that results in an uncontrolled growth of cells and presents with different symptoms. Who is most likely to be affected by esophageal cancer? The first risk factor for esophageal cancer is age. Any person above 60 years has a higher chance. People who are smokers, who are using alcohol or who have a gastroesophageal reflux disease, uh, they are more likely to have esophageal cancer. What are early signs and symptoms of esophageal cancer? The most common signs and symptoms that patient presents is the difficulty in swallowing, that is dysphagia. First it starts with the so dysphagia to the solid food, then it progresses and goes, even they can, cannot swallow uh, liquid food also. Then some may present with a discomfort in the chest, dyspepsia, they have difficulty in, uh, some people have difficulty in uh, swallowing, some people have, they have swellings uh, in the neck and some people may present with a blood tinge uh, in their vomits. What are the causes of esophageal cancer? The most common risk factor is smoke. Those people who are smokers are, are at very high risk of getting uh, esophageal cancer. And some people who have, whose uh, diet is deficient in vegetables and fruits, they are also likely to get esophageal cancer. And elderly people above 60, they are more likely to get uh, squamous cell cancer of the esophagus, while as people around 50 uh, and above, they are more likely to get adenocarcinoma of the esophagus. How does esophageal cancer spread? Uh, initially, it is a localized disease and it is present just in the walls of the esophagus. Then as it F, if it is not treated, that may progress to and involve the structures, it may cause hoarseness or it may cause lymph nodes in the neck or in the mediastinum or it, it may uh, cause different uh, distant metastases. The most common metastasis is to the lungs and to the liver and uh, to the bones. How is esophageal cancer diagnosed? The most common way to diagnose an esophageal cancer is by an upper GI endoscopy. It is, can be done in the office based procedure where the come patient comes and an endoscope which gives us a visualization of his uh, full esophagus can be done and a small piece of tissue can be taken from that growth or cancer and can be sent to laboratory for a definitive diagnosis of esophageal cancer. How is esophageal cancer treated? Uh, this depends on uh, what is the stage of presentation. There are usually four stages of presentation. Stage 1 and stage 2 means an early disease which is within the esophagus and stage 3, stage 4 means that the patient, the disease has spread to the surrounding structures and caused lymph node or distal metastasis. Uh, the most common way we treat an esophageal cancer, there are three modalities. It can be either surgery, it can be either chemotherapy or it can be radiation depending on the stage of presentation. Usually stage 1, stage 2 we can give local radiation and treat them completely. Stage 3, stage 4 may need surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiotherapy. What is the survival rate after treatment of esophageal cancer? Uh, esophageal cancer is not a good cancer. So the survival rate if we take all the stages into consideration varies from around 15 to 47 percent, 50 percent. Lower the stage, the higher the survival is around 50 percent. Higher the stage, the survival decreases drastically. How we should prevent esophageal cancer? Uh, the best uh, thing a person can do is eat healthy, ha lead a healthy lifestyle. The first thing he should have include, decrease carbohydrates in the diet and have more of fruits and vegetables in the diet. And this means a high fiber diet, less of carbohydrates, less of uh, red meats and that will give him a very good healthy diet and that is help in uh, prevention of the esophageal cancer. So we have answered some of the questions related to the esophageal cancer. My last and uh, definitive message to the audience is that one should lead a healthy life. God has given us mouth for eating healthy food, not having, uh, not uh, smoking or abusing alcohol. So lead a healthy life, go for exercises, have more of fruits and vegetables in your diet. That is the best way to prevent an esophageal cancer.